Hi. Are you Mr. Rashid? Uh, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm James Evans, president of Top Notch Travel. Uh, welcome to Top Notch. I'm Marie, the receptionist. It's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a tour guide. <laughs> Glad to meet you. Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm the office manager. Yes. <laughs> a pleasure. Bob? Bob is a... Uh, a chef? No, Bob is not a chef. <laughs> Bob is a doctor. <laughs> No, Bob is not a doctor. Bob is not a singer. He's not an architect. He's not an athlete. Bob. Hi. I'm the mailman. This is Bob. Bob is... An actor. <laughs> This is good coffee. It is good. Who's that? That's your friend, David Duquesne. He's a writer from France. That's not David Duquesne. That's Arturo Montoya. He's Mr. Evans' neighbor. He's a doctor from Mexico. No. That's Jeff Davis. He's an artist. No, that's Alan Reese. He's our lawyer. That's not Alan Reese. Oh, it's Clark Thomas from England. He's a musician. Excuse me. Yes? Who's that? That's Mr. Evans. He's your boss? <laughs> That's not <laughs> Mr. Evans. Hey, guys. <laughs> Musician. Excuse me, how do I get to the Red Cafe? The Red Cafe? Let's see. Go to the corner and turn left. Left. Go two blocks and turn right. Right. Around the corner is a train station. Take the train. Don't take the train. Go through the station, across the street, to the bookstore. Next to the bookstore is a pharmacy. Next to the pharmacy is the Red Cafe. Yes. <laughs> Got it? Let's do it again. <laughs> Corner, Corner, left. left. Two, Two blocks, blocks right. right. Around the, the corner, corner, don't take, take the, the train, train, through, through the, the station, station, across the street, street bookstore, bookstore, pharmacy, Red, Red Cafe. Cafe. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. your family? Yes. Who's this? My brother. He's so handsome. How old is he? He's 34. Oh. He's a doctor. Oh. <laughs> That's his wife. Oh. <laughs> She's very pretty. Who's this? That's my mother. Your mother? But she's so old. She's not old. She's 58. Okay. Who's this? Is he a doctor too? No, he's an architect. That's my sister's husband. Who's this? That's my sister's son. He's a university student. He's so cute. He's so young. <laughs> Who's this short old woman? What? 
That is not a short old woman. That's me. Oh. Sorry. You're late. What time is it? Two minutes after six. I'm not late. Two minutes is not late. Yes, it is. It's two minutes late. Oh, look. It's five to six. I'm early. <laughs> so... For your birthday on Saturday, there's a great French movie at the Avalon. There's a baseball game on Saturday night. Or there's a play at the Art Center at 8 p.m. Life is a dream. The Tigers are playing the Giants. You know, baseball. <laughs> oh, look, there's a Mozart concert on Saturday. Would you like to go? What time? Half past seven. The ball game's at seven. Oh, wow. There's a talk by the writer Ellen Lee at the university on... On Saturday night. Is your birthday on Saturday? No. It's your birthday. Would you like to go to a baseball game for your birthday? A baseball game. That sounds great. Do you like this blouse? Yes. That blouse is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. What about these shoes? Do you like them? I like those shoes. I really like those shoes. <laughs> And what about this dress? I really like that dress. You do? You look like a movie star. Julia Roberts. I see. And this skirt? That skirt is very nice. Bob. Bob! What? <laughs> What about these sweaters? I, I like those sweaters. Those sweaters, those sweaters, sweaters are, are nice. beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Hi. Hi. Welcome to my new apartment, Mom. <laughs> I liked your old apartment at 24 Oak Street better. That's because you live at 22 Oak Street. <laughs> your old apartment had such a nice view. The view here is nice too, Mom. The park is just across the street. And my office is around the corner. Nice refrigerator. It's very small, isn't it? The refrigerator? The kitchen. It's a little small, but I like it. There's the dining room. The office. And the living room. The chairs are nice. I like the sofa. Why is the dresser in the living room? There's no place else for it to go. But where are the other rooms, honey? Mom, it's a studio apartment. 
There are no other rooms. This is it? <laughs> this is it. But where's the bedroom? Ta-da! <laughs> I'm afraid to ask about the bathroom. Oh, Mom! <laughs> I think it's nice. Paul, you're late again. Sorry, I never get up before 8.45. 8.45? That's late. What time do you get up? 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? That's early. What do you do in the morning? Well, after I get up, I usually make breakfast, take out the garbage, do the laundry. The laundry? Yes. Then I read the newspaper, check my email. Sometimes I take a nap. You take a nap in the morning? That's 15 minutes. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I exercise, and on the other days, I clean the house. Then I take a shower, get dressed, put on my makeup, and go to work. Wow. You never sleep late. On the weekends, I sleep till six. That's really good. You do laundry in the morning. And the evening. Why? When do you do the laundry? Usually in March. In September. What are you doing this weekend? Do you want to go shopping with me? That sounds great. When do you want to go? How about Saturday morning? Oh, I'm making breakfast for some friends at 9. Then I'm doing laundry from 11 to noon. Saturday afternoon? I'm taking an art class from 1 to 3. How about 3.30? No, I'm exercising with a friend from three to four. Then I'm going to the movies at five with my sister. Sunday morning? I'm visiting my parents until ten. Then I'm meeting a friend at the art museum until one. Hmm. Sunday afternoon? I'm going to a baseball game with Bob at one. How about late afternoon? Around five? Great. Hey, do you want to play basketball tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> Tonight, I'm cooking. What are you making? Bob's famous vegetable soup. <laughs> Do you have any vegetables? I have some onions, tomatoes. How many tomatoes? Two. I have some beans, some peas, one cabbage, and a potato. Great. You want them all? It's vegetable soup. <laughs> Pass those bananas, please. <laughs> bananas are fruit. Yes. You put bananas in your vegetable soup? Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> now, do you have any sugar? Yes. And I need a lemon. Oh, and do you have any coffee? Do you have a recipe for this? Go watch TV, please.
Come, have a taste. Dr. Anderson, welcome back. Thank you very much. How was your trip to London? It was fine, thank you. Did you visit lots of museums? No, I didn't visit any. Did you eat in some good restaurants? No, I ate in the same bad restaurant every day. <laughs> Did you see any plays or concerts? No. But I watch TV in the hotel room at night. Did you take some nice walks around London? Actually, no. I sat in a chair for four days. Dr. Anderson, that doesn't sound like a very nice vacation. <laughs> vacation? I went to London for business, not for vacation. I met doctors from all over the world. We talked about new medicines. And I gave two speeches. I always ate at the hotel restaurant, so I actually never left the hotel. But, Dr. Anderson, you were in London and you didn't see the city. No, but it looks nice from the airplane. <laughs> I'm meeting my sister for lunch. Aren't you having lunch with Mr. Evans? Oh, no. I forgot. Tell him I don't feel well and I'm going to the doctor. Okay. <laughs> Is Marie here? Uh, no. She's not feeling so well. Uh, she went to the doctor. <laughs> she has a fever and a headache. And a stomach. And a tooth. That sounds bad. I, I need my jacket. You do look awful. I do? Well, with your fever. Fever? Oh, yes, fever. And a headache. Oh. And a stomach ache. And a toothache. You're not going anywhere. Stay right here. I'm calling the doctor. Yes, thank you, Mr. Evans. Thank you very much. <laughs> Marie, could you do me a favor? I'm having lunch with a client in an hour and I spilled coffee on my tie. Could you go to the store and buy a new tie for me? Sure, no problem. And can you get a newspaper for me at the store on the corner? Yep. Hmm. This coffee is cold. Could you buy me a cup of coffee, too? Sure. Also, this shirt doesn't look very nice. Can you buy me a new shirt? Of course. Could you get me a new suit, too? Yes. And uh, can you play the violin for me after lunch? Certainly. Could you fix my car tonight? Yes, sir. You didn't hear me at all, did you? I'm sorry. What did you say? Nothing. Nothing. I'm going to the store to buy a new tie. Okay. Can I fix his car tonight? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'd like to live in China. I'd like to learn to play the guitar. <laughs> if I can't live in China, I'm going to learn to speak Chinese. I'm going to write a book. Really? About what? I don't know. Cooking. You don't cook. I'll learn. What about you two? What are your plans? We're going to go to a movie tonight. No. What are your plans for the future? Well, I'd like to get married and have children. What about you, Bob? 
I'd like to get married and have children too. Really? You would? You want to get married? Actually, we have some news for you. No. You're getting married. <laughs> we want you to come to the movie with us. Wow. Oh. And we're going to get married. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Can we still come to the movie with you?